Welcome back. The Foxhill community rocked by violence after two are killed, forcing the Sandilands Rehabilitation Center into lockdown mode. What we can tell you is that a 33-year-old man and his alleged girlfriend were riddled as they left the Foxhill facility in their white Honda. Chief Superintendent Solomon Cass says when police arrived on the scene, they met two lifeless victims. The officers uh, conducted the EMS, came and pronounced both the victim deceased on the scene. We believe that this was an isolated incident. Uh, the victim, the male victim, as we know, is known to us and was the subject of a shooting incident sometime in August this year. We believe he came to do therapy uh, based on the information we're working with. Thus far. Police believe the suspects waited for the male victim who had just finished up physiotherapy for a previous injury. Here's what else they revealed to reporters on the scene. We are getting information that a black SUEG may have been involved in this incident. Uh, we've been told that two men emerged from that black SUV and they approached the white vehicle and they opened fire on the vehicle. Uh, subsequent to that, uh, the male victim ran from the vehicle. He was uh, chased uh, from the same assailants who opened fire on him uh, right. subsequently shooting him. We suspect based on the profile of the victim that it could be some form of retaliation against the male victim. Chief Superintendent Cash closed by making this appeal to the public. But I want to appeal to members of the public who may have been visiting these facilities uh, any time during the course of the morning. If they saw anything or heard anything to contact the police at 911, 919 and to be free and giving us that information. Police believe this incident was retaliatory. That said, they're expected to increase patrol in the Fox Hill area. Meantime, investigations ongoing into a police-involved shooting that's left a man wounded. From all reports, the incident happened around 10.30 a.m. Sunday when officers responded to reports of a domestic complaint through Sandilands Village Road. According to police, during the arrest, the suspect became aggressive. A struggle ensued and the suspect was shot in the process at last report. He was in stable condition in hospital. From the courts tonight, a businessman gets a bad rap after being arraigned before Magistrate Kyra Turnquist DeVoe for stealing by reason of service. It's alleged that between June 18th and August 28th of this year, Stephen Smith obtained $19,000 from Robert Jennings. Jennings reportedly hired GHC movers and packers to transport items from Nassau to Phoenix, Arizona. He allegedly paid $9,506 for the service. However, when Jennings inquired why the items were not shipped, he was told this was due to non-payment. Now, Jennings allegedly paid an additional $9,734 for the shipment. Smith pleaded guilty to the charge. However, his attorney, Kenyatta Gibson, asked the magistrate to give his client a conditional discharge as he was willing to pay $4,000 today and asked that he be given until February 2019 for restitution to be complete. He added that his client is a husband and a father and was remorseful for his bad business practices and that he learned his lesson. Magistrate Turnquest of vote did not grant Smith a custodial sentence. Smith was required to pay $4,000 immediately. He is required to pay the balance before February 28th of next year. Failure to do so will lead to nine months behind bars. We can also tell you about a 37-year-old Haitian national who was arraigned on a number of fraud-related charges. Louis Zillian Louis was charged with one count each of making a false declaration for marriage, possession of false documents, uttering a false document, fraud by false pretenses, attempted fraud by false pretenses, conspiracy to commit a fraudulent marriage, and a fraudulent marriage. He pleaded not guilty. He was granted bail and was subsequently remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections until January 18th. Louis was not represented by an attorney. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news was brought to you by Alive.